Hello and welcome to Fox Barn Studios. In this series, we are taking brief little looks at some of the interesting pieces of equipment and other bits and bobs that we have here at the studio. Today, we are looking at the Neve 1073 preamp and EQ. Originally designed in 1970 by Rupert Neve, it was for Wessex Sound Studios and it was part of their new recording console. The first project that they recorded on that new console was King Crimson's album Lizard. I don't think it was reviewed terribly well at the time in the music press due to the musicality of the piece, but everyone really loved the sound that was coming out of it, particularly the 1073 preamp. This version here at Fox Barn is the SPX version, which is one of their new, slightly more modern designs, based on the original circuitry. But one of the features that it has that I really enjoy is the input at the front. It's got one at the back as well, which is what I've plumbed into my studio properly. But the input at the front is really helpful, partly for guide vocals, which I do a lot through here in the control room. And also it's the microphone that I'm talking to you through at the moment is patched in straight through the front here. I use this preamp a lot for acoustic guitars, for drums, I use it on the bass drum, and I also use it for vocals, amongst other things as well. The reason that I use it is I really like the sonic character that the preamp gives to the sound source. It makes guitars sound really lush and full, and I use it on the bass drum in conjunction with the EQ, where I can get a lot of low-end punch through this. It also has an insert um, send and return, which I don't use in this studio, but I have used it when I've taken this thing out on the road and recorded on location. It can be really handy to have a compressor maybe built into the back of this and just press can take that signal through and back through your compressor and then back through to the output here. It's a lovely piece of kit. I use it all the time. There's lots of people on various channels going through how this thing works and how the transformers and the harmonics that are generated um, all go to form the sound. But this is just one of the short little examples of what we do here at Fox Barn with these pieces of equipment. So for me, it's an absolute must for acoustic guitars with some of the EQ or just using driving into the preamp on its own can create a really lovely full sound on, the, on an acoustic. I also use it for vocals, uh, not always, but I often use it for vocals. And things like mandolins, violins actually can sound quite nice depending on what sound you're going for. Um, a lot of the more earthy, rootsy, acoustic stuff that I work on, I will often put violins and things through here. For acoustics and for certain vocals and certain other stringed instruments, I think this thing is absolutely brilliant. So check it out. This is the SPX version. There are various different versions you can get. We use this one. We think it's great. And I will see you guys soon.